And here we go, the obelisk. Uh, this is obviously the new mod by Geek Vape. And uh, this is the, <laughs> the unique selling point for this device is going to be the 15 minute charge time. So that is from dead to fully charged in 15 minutes. Uh, to do this, you need this and it does come with it. Obviously, depending on what country you're in, you will get the proper plug. But this being the UK one, this is what I got. So yes, it, it charges very, very quickly, but we'll get into that later on. There are two different kits available. You do have, uh, I think it's the Obelisk 120, this thing. So you have the FCZ kit, uh, which means that it will come like this. So this is basically the Zeus uh, that takes the, the G coils or you get the, it's the FC Obelisk tank and, and it comes with this one. Now we'll get the tanks out the way just now and uh, we'll, we'll show you a bit more about these. Now the main difference between the two and, and making this pretty short and sweet for you is that uh, obviously with the Zeus, uh, you know, Geek Vape tanks are known for this top airflow design up here. So you can go for that one, which means that you're not possibly going to get as much leaking. And you also have the Obelisk one, which uh, the airflow is at the bottom. Uh, the nifty feature on this one is that you can, you have a child cap on it basically. You have to pull this up find the indicator there, push back, and then you fill through there. And it just clicks back into place like that. To fill the other one up, it's it's much the same as the, the old days. You just a little quarter turn, and then you go. It's, it's pretty straightforward. And, and you've seen plenty of these tanks before from Geek Vape. Uh, to change the coil, it is, you can see if I just unscrew the bottom here, you're just going to pull out. Obviously you get the little tool with it as well that you've seen with all the other Geek Vape ones and more often than not you can just pull it out with your fingers like that and you get a little look inside there. It comes pre-installed with this. This is the point two, and that is the recommended range is 70 to 80 watts on this one. Don't do what I do normally and I just take the coil and just fire it back in and, and forget that they uh, see the little hole here and here and you've got tabs on the coil, that is where it is supposed to sit in and it just pushes in like that and clicks into place. Watch out for what just happened with mine there. Uh, the o-ring, this o-ring got welded here. It's obviously been sitting in a box for that long but it should uh, just fit. And yes, I'm all fingers and thumbs here because I broke my hand again. Uh, just sits in there like that and then screw it back together. But just be careful, the o-ring can get welded to the tank there. But that's it. So this one, 5 mil capacity. And this one here is 5.5. And changing the coil on the obelisk one is, is much the same. Uh, there you go. But just to remind you again, there we go, your airflow is down the bottom. Neither one of these tanks you would call restricted direct lung or would call mouth to lung. These are direct lung all the way. So you will also get your mod. Obviously this is a brand new one that I'm pulling out of here just now. This one that's covered in all the fingerprints and mouth gunk, this is the one that I've been using for the past few weeks. On, in the bottom tray you will get your plug uh, and you will get your USB-C charging cable. Uh, obviously this is just going to, if I remember right, that just boom, goes in there like that. Uh, now if you look on top of here you can see the charging rates. So this just char this charges really, really fast. Now, obviously, you don't need this. You can you can charge it. You know, you can plug it into your computer and whatnot without this. Just using a USB-C cable, and it'll charge it whatever the output rate is. But if you want to charge it really, really fast, you need this. And uh, these by themselves, um, these are not cheap. These power bricks are not cheap. Um, I think you're about 25, 30 quid for one of these. So height on this one, you're looking at about 80.1 millimetres in height. About 49 millimetres across here. And up the top, you're going to get a 27 mil atty on there with no overhang. When it arrives, it's going to come with these little protective stickers all over it. Remember what it looks like here, because this is the last time that it's ever going to look this good. Uh, it really is. It's just... Look at that. It's actually a really, do you know, for what is a brick, uh, it's actually not a bad looking brick. Uh, but the minute you touch it, 
it's 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 not quite as pretty uh, if I just well my hands aren't as bad today but you, know, you can start see what we're start picking up dust and fingerprints all over this and cleaning it and getting it as shiny as this again is, is nigh on impossible because the minute you go near it you've got e-liquid and fingerprints and dog hair all over the thing for those of you that are interested there we go with the weight obviously internal batteries in this one which is 3700 milliamp hour if i remember correctly so it's basically got two 1850 cells inside here you've got the usb-c charging point here uh, we have our firing button which is nice and clicky up and down buttons here uh, we've got a spring-loaded 510 up the top it is flush uh, it is flush. Uh, if I was you, I would possibly invest in some Atti protectors. Uh, little, you know, silicon rings that just stick on here. I try to remember who sells them in the UK. I'm sure Stealth Vape have some. And who's the other come? Uh, Z Wraps? Zap Wraps. That's it. Zap Wraps have ones that you can stick on and it'll protect the finish on here. Uh, but me personally, I like it when it's flush. Far better. And, and that's it, that's it for the look of the device. So, uh, here we go with screen time. So, one, two, three, four, five. Coming to life, and there we go. Now, I've switched off the lighting, and uh, we're up top here. And if I go one, two, three clicks here, this takes me into, yeah, I can slide my mode now. I can just start pushing the left and right button, and it's going to take me through all the different modes. So, we've got power going on here just now. Uh, we've then got temperature control, stainless steel temperature control and we can set our coefficients and so on. We then have our power curve that we, and what else have we got? We've got a bypass mode as well and then we can also charge other devices from here. So we can use this as a power bank. We're going to go a little bit Frankenstein here. So uh, supply cable, USB-C to USB-C there's the brand new one uh, and I'm going to plug it into point my uh, this is the one I've been using so if I do one two three and then I just go into output mode select that and there we go it's now charging my other device now I will say that uh, I did try this I've got a Samsung Note 10 and uh, for some reason it wouldn't work with my Note 10. I've tried it with other e-cigs and so on and, and it's worked no problem but it just wouldn't work with my phone for some reason. Just switching my light off here again just so I can show you this. If I, one, two, three, and I'm back here. If I hold down the plus and minus, you see it's going through different colors. If I let go, I'm going to have that. So just one, two, three, plus and minus or if you hold down the fire button and plus or minus you can increase and decrease the screen brightness and I must say the screen brightness on this is tremendous it's um, yes very very bright also the information that you need it's, it's all detailed uh, everything you need there you can put this into temp control mode you can adjust your wattage in temp control mode uh, your power curve once again your bypass mode and that is pretty much it for the up close on the obelisk. So remember, you've got the two kits and the difference between the two kits is you have one that's the Zeus, uh, so that's uh, the top airflow, and then you have the obelisk tank that is bottom airflow, and it's 5.5 mil, and the Zeus one is five mil, Obviously, if you're in the UK, TPD restrictions will kick in and you probably have a bung in one of them as well, which will limit it to two mil, which will drive you insane. Uh, because with this, the coils, I think it's a 0 0.2 and a 0 0.5 ohm coil you get, you are, it's direct lung. It is direct lung, no matter how you try and, yes, direct lung. Uh, I am fully open here just now. Excuse me while I make this fully open. There we go. Uh, yeah, you can you can talk through this thing. Uh, it, it, it's, yes, I'll, I'll actually show you where I run this, and my lighting is really bad in here today. Um, that's kind of where I run mine, and even at that, it's 
I still call it direct lung, but it's got a little bit of a restriction there as well. Uh, so that's the two tanks. The coils, I've got to say, this coil I've been hammering away on here, the 0 0.2, it's been going for, I've put some, well, a lot of juice through this because I'm vaping about 45, 50 watts. I know that's still below the recommended range for this coil, but that's what works for me. Uh, so the, the coils have been doing well. Uh, taking the tanks to one side, this is obviously all about the mod and the fast charging. Uh, yeah, 15 minutes to charge from dead. I, I mean, a 3,700 fully charged in 15 minutes. That's not to be sniffed at in a vape device. Obviously we've seen it on phones uh, and it's nice to see that technology moving across into an electronic cigarette um, or a mod, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is a 3700. Now obviously that's, you're into 21700 range there with batteries because you, know, you can get a 4000 milliamp hour 21700 battery. Uh, but the big point is the fast charging and, and I'll tip my hat to them for that. Well done great job uh, but remember it's only going to fast charge if you have that plug or uh, a, another fast charging plug like you use for your Samsung's and so on and so forth uh, they should work with this as well and enable fast charging but as soon as you plug it into a computer or something that's only outputting 0.5 to 2 amp that's all it's going to charge at so Bear that one in mind. Uh, internal battery, not for everybody. Uh, me personally, I don't mind it. I like it for a device that I tend to use around the house or just when I'm going from A to B. And, and it's been doing the job just great. Uh, the screen, very, very bright. That's a big thumbs up. Flush, no gaps, and you'll get up to a 27 millimeter atty on there. The screen, that. I don't have much in the way of cons for this one. I really don't. Uh, aside from the fingerprint magnet thing, God almighty, I'm a messy bugger. But I, I can look at this and, and it just gets, yeah. It's half spaniel and e-liquid just looking at it. Which is, I can see why they went that route. Because I mean, I'm sure that this is glass. You know, like, um, glass in your phone, I don't know if it's Gorilla Glass or anything like that, uh, but you know, it feels like the, you know, when you put the screen protectors on, it's, it feels kind of like that, which some are Gorilla Glass, I'm waffling now, uh, so it's kind of got like the, the mobile thing feel to it, if you like, but it just makes it, a, a, yeah, fingerprint magnet, it really is. I've dropped mine a few times and I've got no dings or big scratches or the, 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 no real concerns with it. I must admit, the only thing I have not tried with this is temp control. I have not tried temp control. I can't give you feedback in temp control on this one. I apologise. The power curve, I think it's, uh, the segments are 0.5, I'm sure I read that in the manual, it's 0.5 for each segment, and that is about it. Um, if you want a fast charging mod that looks like this, then look no further. Uh, remember, there are two kits available, but if you're in the UK, you'll probably get a TPD one, no matter what. Other niggles. Um, it's just a pet hate, I'm going to say it. Uh, they, they do mention that you get two days worth of vaping on this device. That's just, this is a 120 watt device. Uh, if I'm vaping this at 100 watts, I'm not going to get two days out of it. You shouldn't make claims like that. That that That's just bullshit and banter and yeah, that's just sales speak. Um, you will know how long you get as a 3700 milliamp hour mod, the big thing is the fast charging. Yes, they just went a bit crazy with the sales pattern, I think, on this one. I'll have another vape. I can't believe that coil is still going. Uh, the other thing is, I, I will say on the... This thing, um, 
it, it's like an 810, is that an 810 drip tip? I'm pretty sure it's an 810 drip tip, but it, it kind of gets the join in between, I'm not sure if you can see it where the sleeve comes up. Um, yeah, it can. you can get lip gunk stuck in there and um, it can be a bit of a pain to keep it clean sometimes. But uh, that's it. Uh, thank you to GeekVape, as always, for sending this on. Thank you to you for watching. There are many, many other reviews. Uh, I would suggest you go and watch them. I will put a shout out for my favourite little man who lives across the pond, Mr Bissardo. He did do a review where he hooked it up to his doodah. And uh, he shows off things like uh, the power curve and so on. And I watched that in the bath last night because that's where I like to watch Mr. Bissardo's videos. Anyway, that's enough from me. Until next time, bye for now.